Afternoon, sir. How are you? Good. Hey, the reason I stopped you today is because I saw this car was unmarked. Is this a, a registered unmarked vehicle for undercover work or? Okay, you're not allowed to have patrol cars that are that are unmarked. Are you aware of that under Washington State RCW? Mm, I'd have to look it up. But... Yeah, you really should do that. Um, so there's no mark. There's no indication on this car. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Canfield. Canfield okay, friend. Deputy Canfield. Can I see some ID? Can you see some ID? Of yes. Me? Yeah, I need to yeah. make sure that you're. No, I, you, you need to prove you're driving an unmarked vehicle. So I need to make sure you're actually a police officer. And that you are, you have the authority to be driving this vehicle because you seem to be kind of doing something that's uh, clearly in violation of Washington state law. So I just want to make sure you are who you say you are, okay? Okay. Well, okay. Mr. Simon, I'm not going to play the game with you. This isn't a game, it's called law. Okay. Yeah. So can I see some ID and maybe license, registration, proof of insurance, sir? No, I'm not going to show you that. Yeah, this is my ID right here. That's not ID, sir. Yeah, well, if I showed you a badge, if you stopped me, would you take that as ID? Come on, that's, that, let's be reasonable. Anybody can have a patch, sir. Okay, what about... This, can, I mean, is it a big deal for you to show me some ID just so I can make sure? I can show it to you. That'd be cool. That's all I want. I just I just like to make sure. Canfield GT51, can I see? Yeah, you can see it. You're not going to hold it in your hand, though. Okay, let me just get a close look at it there. It's fine. Does that match this? That looks, that looks legit to me. I appreciate it. I do. Mm -hmm. I really do. Driver's license? You got a driver's license, too. I appreciate okay. it. I appreciate the cooperation. Are you stopping people in this vehicle? Yeah, I am. Okay, it's completely in violation of Washington state law and you are culpable in that, the way the law is written. Okay, so, so you've admitted that you are in violation of Washington state law and that you are stopping people in this vehicle. So what I'm gonna encourage you to do, um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna write you up today. What I am gonna encourage you to do, to do is take this car back. <laughs> I know you're smiling, but, but we the citizens do have a right to hold you guys accountable. If I'm in open violation of the law, I mean, I, I, could, I could call a sheriff out here and demand that you be written up for this because you are in open violation of Washington State RCWs, okay? okay. So I, I, I just want you to talk to the sheriff about it. We have, there's a problem with this in Soap Lake as well, and this is why I'm bringing this up lately. I, I really want you guys to be aware of this. I want you to follow along. Do you understand the safety concern? I mean, let's say my daughter's, it's 12 o'clock at night. My daughter's out driving around. And she doesn't drive yet, but you get the idea. And and she gets stopped by what is supposedly a police officer, but there's no markings whatsoever. And that's one of the main reasons you should not be stopping people in a car that's unmarked, because that's when the safety concern really comes in. Somebody doesn't know if they're being stopped by a police officer. So understand that every time you stop somebody in this car, you are, you are in violation of Washington state law. And you can't do that. So if we see you stopped in this car, and, and, and have doing patrol stops in this car, we're gonna have a problem because it's illegal. If you continue doing this, you could be arrested for that. I, I could be arrested for driving an unmarked car? For driving an illegal vehicle and refusing to comply? Okay. Are you uh, saying that if somebody else was driving an illegal vehicle and wouldn't cooperate, that they wouldn't be arrested? You know, how, how, so, how are you comparing, I mean, it's kind of apples and oranges. It's not apples and oranges. You're driving a vehicle on, on, on Washington state roads, on a Washington state highway, and it's in violation of the law, and you are you're accountable to the law just the same as as me and anybody else is, you know. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, it's it's in, yeah publicly owned any publicly owned vehicle, including county police, and it opens up with with directing at the officer specifically. So, and that's the key for you. So you want to read this because even if they give you an unmarked vehicle, you're legally obligated to not operate that unmarked vehicle because the law is defined at the officer and says you as the officer shall not operate the vehicle on the public roadways, a publicly owned vehicle that's not legally marked. Well, that's good to know. I'll, I'll I mean, yeah, I mean, just follow up on it and let's just get it taken care of. It, it doesn't have to be a big deal. And I understand that there's certain instances, as is referenced in the law, where there is exemptions, but patrol vehicles are not included in that. So, okay. Sounds good. All right. Have you be safe weekend. out there, Mr. Canfield. Take care.